I literally just ended a vlog and now I'm starting another one. <laughs> but I'm just sitting here doing my makeup. So today is actually Sunday and I went out last night, got home around like 1.30. So obviously I'm bright eyed and bushy tailed and unaffected <laughs> because that's how I've been lately, which is kind of nice. Um, but I obviously like, you know, I'm 26 now. I don't really like drink that much. So um, last night we went to a little event. Um, and so I'm getting ready and then we're actually gonna go to a bakery that I heard is really really good It's called like Bork, Bork, Bork Street Bork Street Bakery and it's in Chelsea So we're gonna walk there and then walk down to Soho. So it should be like a nice long walking day but I Got up at like nine. Well, I originally got up at eight because like my body just like doesn't want me sleep in Which is fine. Like I wasn't tired and I got like seven hours of sleep. So that's fine, but um, yeah, so I actually like got out of bed at 9.30 and then I got out of the shower at like 10. So I have like a half an hour to get ready because it's gonna take a half an hour to walk down there and it's absolutely stunning out again. We have such good weather this weekend and I'm so excited for it. And yeah, I can't wait to like go down into Soho. I feel like I keep applying deodorant in my vlogs in front of you guys. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna be going down into Soho and meeting Avery and Steph. And I'm so excited because we've been trying to meet up for so long and now we finally are. So I can't wait to meet them. I love meeting new people. I mean, I met Megan like a couple weeks ago and like we've been able to hang out a bunch, which is so nice. And we are able to get so much work done, which I love because I don't know, it's just nice to have a bunch of different friends like that do the same thing so that you can like meet up and hang out, but then also like get some stuff done, which is like the perfect combination. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna do the bakery, walk down to Soho, do some outfit pictures, and then later today I'm supposed to meet. So I hate to explain this because it sounds ridiculous, but I was in a sorority in college and my big is actually from the city and her sister, her twin sister actually, is a graphic designer. So she's the one that does the artwork for my YouTube intro. And I'm going to meet with her today for a little special project that I'm working on. So I'm really excited to like meet her. First of all, I haven't seen her in like two years. So we've like chatted back and forth on Instagram and we text and all this stuff, but I haven't seen her in so long. So I'm just excited to catch up. And then also we're gonna be like chatting about this little project so i'm really excited for that but i just finished my makeup and i need to dry my hair and get dressed because i'm gonna be late okay you guys we're in so with avery and Hi. steph Hi. another steph i feel like there are like I know, it. yeah, there's a, well, I know two specifically now, um, but we just took some pictures over Shop by, yes, and then, <laughs> what was the coffee shop name? Now or Never. Yeah. Now or Never, I had not been there before, so and was it you that wrote in the text? I didn't save your number, so I, I don't know which uh, one's which. I'll say my name, I don't remember. Okay, um, who's 215? Me, yeah. Okay, <laughs> I don't know who wrote Now or Never, but I was like reading through the text, and I was like, thought it was like normal text so I just didn't read it and then I was like and then you you said here yeah. and I'm sitting outside and I was like sitting outside where and she was like now or never <laughs> but it was really good we just got like cold brew what'd you got yeah ice coffee ice coffee yeah. oh I got that too yeah and you didn't get anything I'm hungover guys yeah <laughs> I'm so sorry no coffee for Steph she's hungover um but yeah it's a little bit busy out of here so I'm gonna put the phone down because I don't like Eat. I stopped getting like embarrassed, stop. but I'm not anymore. But sometimes I, no I still am. I have no shame. I'm like, yeah. Oh, I don't care about a video. But I, yeah, like, I don't care. I know. And sometimes I'm like, I put the phone down or I'll like have it out like this and I'll pass somebody and I stop talking. But I'm like, what's the point of that? Yeah. I still have it in front of my face. Yeah. Everyone um, does it. Who cares? Right. But also in yeah. New York City, so no one's like by so anything. busy right now. Yeah. I don't know, but it always is. But it's normally on Sundays. I feel like it's a little bit quieter because the I tourists agree. like yeah, leave. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, we're gonna head back now. I'm gonna walk all the way back to Chelsea. We're gonna walk home, right? Yeah. What are you doing? Are you so here's the thing. I, I was supposed to go. To, uh, what is it? Jack's wife, Frida, Frida White, Ooh. Jack, whatever. In Soho? Yeah, but oh. my friends just canceled, so now I'm trying oh. to figure out. Oh, okay. Where I'm supposed to go. It's so nice. Okay. I like, don't want to go home. I know. That's why I'm gonna walk because it's like. 
gonna walk. It's like a half, a little over a half hour. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it'll be nice. Way. So that's the plan. I'm gonna go home, film some YouTube videos, but I'm so glad I got to meet them. Bye guys. We had so much fun. Yeah, you'll see them in the vlogs coming up. So. We'll be back. Yeah. With another <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, you guys, I just got home from Soho. I walked all the way back to my apartment and I don't even wanna to check to see how many steps I had today because I feel like it's just gonna make me feel tired. And I don't know why, but I got the coffee at Now or Never, it was so good. And as I was walking back, I was like, why am I so tired? And I think it's like, I don't know if this makes sense, but let me know. I am not physically tired, but when I think about all of the work that I have to do, it just makes me feel like I'm tired. I don't know if that makes any kind of sense, but I basically just was thinking on the way home and I shouldn't do this because I feel like I don't really suffer with anxiety, I wouldn't say, but what I do kind of get annoyed at is that I'm very not present in the moment sometimes. So like I was having this beautiful walk on my way back home. It's so nice out. This is literally my favorite weather of all time. And I'm sitting there thinking about how I need to go home and film a YouTube video. And I'm just thinking about all this stuff and it's just not necessary. Like I can just have my walk and then get home and plan everything out perfectly. And so, yeah, I just feel like I wasn't, I felt a little tired because of thinking about all the stuff that I have to do. But so right now, I have all these outfits that I was just starting to pull from, excuse me, from my wardrobe. And I'm gonna do like a spring looks outfit haul because right now, I don't know, I feel like it is May, but it's normally warmer out by now and it's not at all. So I feel like I'm gonna try to just do like a bunch of spring outfits. That reminds me I need to pull out a white tee, but these shorts are like so overstuffed. Um, but I'm gonna do a bunch of spring outfits because we're still not really like in that spring. I mean, we're not in like that really warm weather. So I feel like people will still be wearing this stuff for a few weeks. So I might as well just give some inspo. And then I'm doing a combination between comfy ones and then like more elevated ones with like blazers. And I'm gonna use this white button down for one of them. Straight leg trousers, obviously. Um, but. Yeah, I've really been enjoying styling spring outfits. I have no idea why, because I normally don't like it. <laughs> um, but yeah, this year I'm like so excited. So I'm gonna, you know, play off that and make sure that I get this video out to you guys. The only problem is that I am going to meet my big's sister at 4.30 at her apartment because we were going to do, we were gonna do brunch no, we we're gonna do coffee, but because we pushed the shoot in Soho back, we um, basically weren't gonna be done in time for me to go and make it to coffee before Becca has to go to brunch. So she's gonna go to brunch, I'm gonna film this video, and then I'm gonna meet her at 4.30, and then I have dinner at 6.30. So I'm kind of just like running around with my head cut off today. I don't love it, I feel like <laughs> I wish it was kind of like, a chill, you know. But I have like, these are all things that I wanna do, so I shouldn't complain. It just feels like I'm doing a lot of stuff at once and I feel like I just need to like sit down, um, especially since, you know, I'm the type of person that I need to have like my social battery charged <laughs> and I feel like it's already halfway gone. I'll definitely make it through the day. I just feel like thinking about all this stuff is just making me tired. It's not that I'm actually tired. Um, so I'm going to build my little clothing rack and get all this stuff ready because I need to film this video. And then I also have to film the cutaways, which is just, it's a lot, but it'll be fine. And, you know, I've been wanting to do this. I don't know why I'm like getting the feeling that I've already done a video like this. So I have to make sure that I haven't <laughs> because that would be a huge waste of my time if I did another spring outfits video. I don't know what part of me is thinking that I did. Let me look. And then I have to like do laundry because I'm trying to find clothes for styling the outfits. And I am realizing that half of the stuff is in my hamper, like this white shirt. There's like mascara on the collar of it because I fell asleep on the bus on the way home from work. So I need to wash it, but I had to pull it out of the laundry to go and shoot this outfit today. And by the way, this bralette never gives me an issue. I wore it last night with um, like blue, like navy, silk trousers 
and it was fine. And then I put it on this morning and the tag is itching me so badly that I have like, I don't know, I can't really tell, but I have a mark on my back because I'm just itching myself all day long. And when I was sitting and having coffee, I was like itching it a lot. And now it's like a little bit painful. Um, and then for lunch, it's like 2.30 and I'm just having lunch now, which is very late, but I just wanna have a snack before dinner. Um, but I have a mini Trader Joe's pizza and a hash brown in the oven right now. And the hash brown looks like it's getting pretty, what's the word, crispy. And so I'm really excited for that. No, I have how to style straight leg trousers. I don't know why I thought I had, oh, because I had like a spring haul and I guess those were all spring outfits. And then I did the H&M one, which is all spring outfits, but no. I didn't do spring like street style yet. So I think that's what this is gonna be. And yeah, I'm very excited. So a lot of classic pieces in here. I have a trench, a blazer, straight leg trousers, like usually stuff that I normally wear. And, and then I'm gonna use like a white tee and stuff like that. Just so it's like mostly stuff that you guys already have. And I never want anyone to feel pressured to buy anything for my channel. If you like something, obviously buy it. but. I just wanna like try to make outfits for you guys that you already have like the stuff in your wardrobe. And if you don't, they're classics that you should have in your wardrobe. I mean, that's my opinion anyway, but um, yeah. So just making it like easier for you guys and like if you need inspo um, or if you already have like the stuff and you have like worn it the same way over and over and over and you just wanna change it up. That's like the point of all my styling videos. Um, yeah, so that was a long winded explanation. But you guys, I know I showed you this in my last vlog, but this sunglasses chain, I'm obsessed and I just keep wearing it everywhere I go because it's so easy. Like if I'm walking in the shade here, I don't know why I like taking my sunglasses off because when I was like walking back, it was like a 35 minute walk and my sunglasses were like sliding down a little bit. I think I have to get them adjusted. And so if I was in the shade, I just would pull them off and have them hang. And it's just nice to make sure that they're not gonna be clinking around and getting scratched and ruined and stuff like that. So yeah, I've been loving this one. I also have the Amazon one, so I'll link both of them for you. This one is from a small business though. So if you guys end up wanting to get one, I would definitely recommend ordering off of this Instagram. She's like the sweetest person ever. And she basically will make like any one that you want based on like the beads that she has. So there's also one with like daisies on it that I, seriously need um and I know I already told you guys that in my last video but like I'm fixating on it very much um okay so I'm gonna eat my pizza quickly that I probably burned at this point because it's been in there for like 15 minutes and then I have to get this whole video filmed before I head off to Becca's and I think I'm probably gonna just dress for dinner when I go there in case I end up having to go to dinner from there but hopefully I won't I have dinner and then I will probably edit the video afterwards. So I don't know if it's gonna go up on Sunday, which is kind of annoying because I know a lot of people, because it's the weekend, like we'll watch videos on Sundays. So I wanna put like the content out on time for you guys, but because I didn't film this yesterday and I thought I was gonna film it this morning before leaving to go shoot and I didn't. So I'm basically just a little bit behind and that like throws the whole schedule off. So this might be going up on Monday, but not the worst thing in the world. Like I need to just not put the pressure on myself because it's just not necessary. It's literally YouTube and I'm just having fun with it. So there's like no point in stressing out over it. But I'm gonna go eat now because I'm actually starving, rightfully so. But also that place that we went to, the Bor Bork Street, I don't know why, I don't know how to say it. Okay, this doesn't look good. <laughs> Bor Bork Street Bakery, I think it's called. It's actually Australian. I thought it was French, obviously, because there were baguettes in the window, and I just assumed that like any place that has like a baguette is French, which is completely wrong. Um, but they had such good sandwiches. I got the smoked ham and some sort of cheese. I can't remember what kind of cheese it was, but the croissant was like so buttery and so flaky. It was like honestly way better than I was expecting. And so I would definitely go there again and highly recommend for you guys. If you're like in the Chelsea area, it's like honestly amazing. And the employees there were so nice explaining because I told them like, oh, it's our first time being here. So I might need a minute to decide. And they were like, oh, welcome in. Like giving the whole story behind the shop and that they're Australian and they have like some traditional Australian pastries, but then they also have normal stuff. And yeah, it was like a really good experience there. And so I got that sandwich and like walked all the way down to Soho to go and meet Avery and Steph. And yeah, it was just a wholesome morning. I'm just like having the best weekend ever. 
and kind of wish I didn't have a job so that I could do this every day. <laughs> but obviously I need to work so that I can live here. So yeah. Um, okay, I need to stop and go have some pizza. You guys, I'm literally sitting here by myself laughing because I'm having the most wholesome yet unhealthy meal ever. And I'm eating these, okay, this is stuck on my earring. I need to like take these off. It's like pathetic that I'm wearing this inside when it's not even sunny in here, obviously. Um, but I have this little mini Trader Joe's pizza and it's actually like, it doesn't taste good at all. I will not recommend these to anybody. They're just like a really nice quick fix for a meal. But the fact that I'm eating like a, a hash brown and like a little mini pizza for lunch is just hilarious to me. I don't know why, but I'm just trying to get the job done at this point. I'm not a gourmet chef right now. Uh, actually, I'm not a gourmet chef ever. And I just went to bite this, but I stopped because I burned my whole mouth on one of these yesterday. Mm. These, I will highly recommend though, every single time. And I think I just got a crumb down my shirt. But yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and eat this. Probably take my time. And then at 3 p.m., I'm gonna film the video, hopefully. I'm like on my game today because um, now that I'm like thinking that I'm tired, I hope that I'm not like gonna take forever to film the video because as long as that goes by smoothly, then I could just do the cutaways and be done. But sometimes I can struggle a little bit when it comes to like the actual filming and like explaining the outfits, which honestly should be the easy part. I'm just like visually showing the stuff. So I should just be able to talk about what I'm literally holding up in the air. But I don't know. Styling sometimes is like a little bit hard to explain and I want to like do it in the best way possible and like not blabber on too much about everything because I'm just like there to give some inspo. I feel like that's all it is. I don't feel like anyone really cares about like my opinion about why I do the styling. It's more so just like wanting to see the styling. I don't know. You guys tell me, I'm just making assumptions. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna just have this really quickly and then get to work. Guys, I'm honestly just so exhausted. I filmed, first of all, I feel like I brought it into existence by saying that I didn't know if I was gonna be able to film the video as easily as I should. And I literally had to start like seven times. And when I was getting my hair ready, like there were pieces sticking out all over the place. And it was just honestly not the easiest, but I did get the video done. I did the styling and the light just decides to start coming in now. So, I mean, I'm gonna look at the cutaway clips to make sure that you can like see the outfit in it. And if you can, I'm just gonna use them. But I just expected it to be like a lot easier. And today was just, you know, sometimes I have off days, but I have to film the videos anyway, because I don't have a choice. I can't do it during the week. Um, but I'm gonna see if I can work from home one day this week, because I have a couple of projects that I have to catch up on. And I haven't worked from home in like literally three weeks or maybe a month, I don't know. Um, and like everyone on my team is able to. So I feel like I, like if I have the work to do it, then I should. So hopefully one day this week I will have time because I also wanted to do like, um, kind of like how I do the, like how to style videos where I'm gonna pick like one thing and style it all the way through. Possibly straight leg jeans because I feel like those are a huge thing right now and you can like dress them up and down. So I feel like there's a lot that I could do with that. My other idea was to do how to style a crew neck, which sounds so strange, but I feel like the only way that like people normally wear crew necks is just a crew neck and um, leggings. But you can do like jeans, you can dress it up a little bit. Um, I don't know, biker shorts and stuff. So we'll see if I can like put together that. Um, if not, I can also do like a white tee. I feel like because all of these outfits, like I think four out of the seven outfits included this Everlane white t-shirt that I literally had to steam because it was in the bottom of my hamper. Um, I use this so much in all the outfits and I feel like this is a really good spring piece that is a capsule like staple piece in your wardrobe. So I think that would be a good idea. And I'm just coming up with this stuff as I'm talking to you right now. But Becca just texted me saying that they got back to her apartment early and it's like 4.15. I was thinking of like passing out for 15 minutes and trying to take like a little nap and then going. But instead, this is so bad, but I might go to Starbucks and get like a little coffee, like a small one. What's the small one called? Tall? I don't know. I just, for some reason, feel like I can't 
get through the rest of the day unless I have a coffee, which is so bad. But I mean, this is one of those instances where I like said yes to all these plans and I didn't really understand that it takes a lot of effort to socialize, especially on a Sunday when it's like already the end of the weekend. I went out on Friday, I went out on Saturday and now I just did all this stuff and I was so productive yesterday. So it's not really like, I mean, I love doing all this stuff, but it's not like I'm sitting and like relaxing all day, which is, you know, sometimes what I have to do on the weekends, but I'm gonna be home next weekend because I have a wedding. So I won't be in the city at all. Um, and so I'll be like forced to relax. Um, so yeah, I feel like it's fine because I wanted to get all of this stuff done. And it's kind of like, I complain that I don't have pictures for Instagram and then I go and take the pictures for Instagram and I'm like, oh, I'm tired from like shooting and being all over the place and all over the city. And it's like, okay, well, we can't just complain about everything. So we're just gonna be grateful. We have so much content. I have two vlogs that are going up this week. I have um, this styling video. So it's just, I don't know. I feel like it's really nice because I'm able to like have the energy to be able to do this stuff. And if I have to have one extra coffee, it's not going to kill me. Um, so I'm gonna get dressed now for dinner because I'm gonna go to Becca's apartment and then I'm gonna go down to dinner from her apartment because it's like dinner's in Little Italy and she's in Flatiron. So they're both on the like more toward the east side. So I think I'll be able to take the six subway down there and meet them for dinner later. I'm meeting Jenna and Christina. You guys have seen them in the Aruba vlog and probably a bunch of other vlogs that I put on my channel. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna get dressed. I think I'm just gonna wear a maxi bodycon and then my trench over it because it's really nice out, but 62 degrees and sunny is very different from 62 degrees and nighttime. So I think I just wanna wear this jacket just in case I get a little bit chilly. I just don't really know what shoes to wear because I don't really wanna wear sneakers to dinner, but I'm not wearing heels with that. And it's just like not the move right now. So I think I might wear my Vejas that are absolutely like battered and beat. They just look a little bit gross now, but this is like the fanciest sneaker that I have, especially if I'm gonna be wearing a sneaker to dinner. I wanna make sure that it's a dressy one. So I think we're gonna go with those. And my body dress is white. So I have to figure out like undergarments for that because I'm wearing, I don't know, whatever color underwear I'm wearing right now, but it's not conducive with white. The only thing that is conducive is a seamless tan pair for this dress. I don't even know where I put it, honestly. So I'm gonna get dressed now, head out to Becca's and stop at Starbucks on the way because I'm being a little baby. <laughs> okay, you guys, I got my Starbucks and I'm feeling a little bit better. What did I even get? Oh, they don't have the sticker on here. It's a salted caramel cream cold foam brew. <laughs> Obviously that's completely wrong, but it's really good. Mm. This is the drink that I was getting when I was in Florida and I decided to get it today. And I was gonna try the vanilla sweet cream cold foam because they made it horribly at work for me. So I wanted to see if it was gonna be better at the actual Starbucks. And I decided not to, because I feel like you have to get a grande for that. And I really only wanted a tall, because I'm not trying to go nuts, but I already feel better. And I have my outfit on. I'm wearing the midi dress and my trench. And I feel like I could get a picture in this outfit, but I didn't bring my sunglasses. And I look absolutely knackered. <laughs> for lack of a better word. What is the equivalent of knackered in like American terms? Cause that's like a British word, I think. Um, but I'm almost at Becca's. So I'm just gonna have a calm little walk over there. I also have this bag. It has stuff that Jenna left at my apartment before we went to Aruba because she stayed at my apartment the night before we went to the airport. And it was in that area where I'm trying to put that desk from Ikea. So I figured, I should remember it and actually get it out of my room so that I can start to like clear that space for it. But I need to like organize my entire life in order to like get all that stuff fitting in my room. So that's gonna be on the task possibly for tonight when I get back from dinner. Um, but we'll see how much energy I have. I should probably have a ton considering the fact that I just got another coffee that I probably did not need, but it's fine. So yeah, I'm gonna clear out that space hopefully after I clean up the huge mess that I made for the styling video. And I also have to edit the video. And I wish I was one of those people that could stay up until like 1 a.m. doing work. But since I have to get up at like 6.30 tomorrow morning, I think, I just don't think I'm gonna have it in me. But we're gonna power through for the rest of the night and get as much as I can possibly get done.
Okay, so I'm almost there. I also just realized that I left the house without socks on. So that feels great. Sitting at the restaurant, Jenna was getting back from Maryland later. So we changed the reservation to seven, but I didn't see her text. So I got here for 6.30, I'm gonna sitting here by myself. Um, but they should be here in like five minutes. Hi guys, so I'm back from dinner and it was really nice. The food was so good. And it's just always such a nice time when I hang out with Jenna and Christina. So we had a really nice dinner and um, they forgot to bring Christina's pasta out. We had to like ask them to bring it because they brought mine and Jenna's meals. I got the lasagna and Jenna got the spaghetti and meatballs and then Christina ordered bolognese and they just like, you know, me and Jenna started eating because we were waiting for a little bit for her food to come. And then she was like, guys, I eat, like eat. I don't care if you eat. So we did and they still weren't bringing it out. So we had to ask for it, but that was the only um, pet peeve and the bathroom smelled a little bit weird, but I could look past that. Um, so yeah, really nice time, but now I'm home. It's like 9.15 and I think I'm literally going to watch a YouTube video and then go to bed because I'm exhausted. Um, I'm gonna try to take the early bus into work tomorrow just because on Mondays, I like to be able to get back a little bit earlier so that I can go to the gym and like just start off on a really nice high note. And um, now that I'm getting back into like my gym schedule, I wanna keep up with it obviously. And um, I'll be home next weekend, so I won't be able to go on like Friday or Saturday. So I, I'll mainly be going, well, I'll only be going during the week. But I, I'm i like proud of all the stuff that I've done this weekend because I mean, it's not like it's hard. I literally like go and shoot outfits with everybody and have a fun time and I'm whatever, but I, and I'm like always in the moment, I'm like so happy that I'm doing this stuff and I feel so grateful to have these people and like every person that I've like spent time with this weekend, I'm like so grateful to have that time with them. But I know myself and I just know that I like to have some time by myself and I literally think that I've got, besides like sleeping, where I'm obviously not talking to anybody, I think I've gotten like an hour's worth of time to myself. And that's just like, I need more than that <laughs> because sometimes I like to be a little bit of a loner. And so like everything that I've done this weekend and like I packed a bunch of activities in and it was all like really great and I had so much fun, but like I just need a break. And now that it's Sunday night, I have to go to work tomorrow. And it's like the weekend's supposed to be like my break from the week, well, from the work week. And then I have the weekend and I'm like, I need a break from the weekend, but I'm going straight into the work week. If, I don't know, um, kind of confusing. But anyway, I just, the moral of the story is that I'm exhausted. <laughs> um, and I think I look exhausted. I kind of look like a ghost right now. Um, but yeah, I cleaned up my room from the shoot. Well, most of it from the um, video that I filmed earlier. And I'm actually pretty proud of myself for doing that because I'm so tired. And I thought I was just gonna go to bed with a messy room, but I kind of don't like doing that because I feel like there's more for me to do if I go to bed and my room is messy. So I'm glad that I did that. I'm just gonna wash my face and get ready for bed. And as I was just washing my face, I'm just thinking that I'm kind of laughing at myself because I feel like what I'm feeling right now is that I can't keep up with myself because I'm the one that's like, you know, not accepting plans. Like I make the plans too. And just like telling everybody like, yeah, no, I'd love to do that. And I'd love to do this. And let me like, you know, I basically tried all over the city this week or this weekend. So like over the past couple of days, I've spanned from like little Italy all the way up to the Upper East Side. And I like, again, like I said, I love everything that I'm doing, but I'm also like vlogging in the middle of that. And because I did all this stuff, like all this filming, I can't just stop there. I have to edit everything. I wish that I was perfect and I could literally just do an entire vlog and not have to <laughs> edit or like put any transitions or anything. But unfortunately that's not the way that it works. So I am going to edit all that stuff probably on the bus into work tomorrow. Um, if I take the early bus in, I'll have like 20 minutes to edit. And if I take the later bus, I'll have like 40 minutes. So 
um depending on how i feel in the morning we'll see because considering how tired i am i don't know if i'm gonna like want the extra sleep or if i'm gonna go to bed early i'll feel like you know super rested for the morning um but we'll see i'm just laughing because i'm I li i'm so tired that i walked into the bathroom to do my skincare and i almost fell over like i just feel like i'm drunk or something which i'm obviously not um so i'm just doing my skincare like as fast as i can normally i let this dry on its own and then i'll put in like the rest of it but we're doing the speedy version today um and it's burning me a little bit. i mean it's a chemical exfoliant so it does not that it's supposed to burn but it does burn um and now i like i'm just trying to rush because i can't wait to just hop in my bed and i did want to change the sheets and have fresh sheets for the sunday because I think I changed them Monday of last week. So they're almost a week old, but I don't know. There's something about having fresh sheets on a Sunday specifically that is the most lovely thing in the world. Um, but I just don't think I have the energy for that. I actually might change the pillowcases though, because I feel like that's something that will take me five seconds, but it, my skin will appreciate me if I do that. Um, but yeah, I have nothing else planned for today. It is Sunday, so that is all I have for you guys, unfortunately. You guys know how much I love talking to you. <laughs> and then I could literally sit here and talk to myself, which is like talking to you guys for days on end. But the sad reality is that I do have to go to work. So if you guys wanna subscribe and you know keep watching all my videos so that I can quit my job, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I think I would always have like a full-time job even if like I decided that I wanted to do like YouTube and stuff. Well, if it came to the point where I could make a living off this stuff, I think I would still want to do a full-time job just to like keep me grounded. Um, but, and like on a schedule and things like that. But yeah, it doesn't hurt to throw me a subscribe, tell your friends about my channel if you like really enjoy it and stuff. Or if anyone needs like fashion advice, I feel like that's my favorite thing to do here. Um, so yeah, don't be shy. Tell the whole world about me. Post me on, my, on your Instagram story. This is like the most shameless plug ever. This is like the most blatant plug ever. But yeah, I'm just really happy like making stuff on YouTube and I want more people to see it because, you know, because we want to make this little fashion family as big as we possibly can. We have a lot of fun over here. So I'm going to stop talking because obviously I'm getting delusional if I just said all that stuff. <laughs> and um yeah i'm delirious for sure thank you guys so much for joining me for another weekend vlog i am so glad that i got to take you guys around to like a bunch of different things this weekend like there was a huge variety i feel like which i absolutely love and yeah i just love sharing these little things with you guys and like different recommendations that i have and like around the city and just like you know chatting with you guys so i hope you guys enjoyed it too i love you guys so much and i hope to see you all in my next video